In the long list of bomb plots in the air, this one has a new twist. At the heart of it, a double agent, apparently, sent by terrorists to carry out an attack while secretly working for the Americans. Suddenly, the mysterious assurances of US officials in recent days made more sense. The device did not appear to pose a threat uh, to uh, the public uh, air service, but the plot itself indicates that these terrorists keep trying. This had been the story till last night. A new version of this bomb had been devised but discovered. Similar to the device found on Farouk Abdul Mutalab, the so called underwear bomber caught in Christmas 2009. Two, one. This was how his bomb would have exploded. The latest version may have been even more deadly and was also non metallic and hard to detect. But it's now in the hands of US intelligence. Now we're trying to make sure that we take the measures that we need to to prevent uh, any other type of IED uh, similarly constructed uh, from getting through uh, security uh, procedures. The man dispatched to blow up this new bomb worked as a double agent for both Americans and at least one other country. He's said to have infiltrated Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula in Yemen. It sought Al-Qaeda's master bomb maker, Ibrahim Hassan al-Asiri, based in Yemen, may have invented this latest device. Another key Al-Qaeda figure, also high on America's most wanted list, Fad al Kuso, was killed in a US drone strike in the area over the weekend. That strike's also thought to be linked to this undercover operation. What's uncertain is exactly who the double agent worked for. Yemenis say British intelligence was closely involved. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. And it's unclear how long authorities on both sides of the Atlantic knew about this new danger, but didn't warn travellers about the threat. Dominic Waghorn, Sky News, Washington.